sustainable communities. In this video, you will learn what the Sustainable Development Goal number 11 says and its objectives, how the EU Green Deal applies the principles of the Development Goal number 11, what is the Green Deal Going Local initiative, some examples of how communities and cities in the European Union are applying the principles of the Green Deal in their local realities. One of the most important aspects of sustainable development is the ability to adapt measures to the variety of scenarios, places, and situations that may arise. International initiatives, regulations, and recommendations must be implemented at the national level, but even more important is that they are implemented at the level of local realities, be they regions, provinces, large metropolitan cities, or small towns. This is one of the reasons why one of the UN Sustainable Development Goals is sustainable cities and communities. The 11th goal includes a series of sub-objectives that specify its scope. These are safe and affordable housing, affordable and sustainable transport systems, inclusive and sustainable urbanization, protect the world's cultural and natural heritage, reduce the adverse effects of natural disasters, reduce the environmental impact of cities, provide access to safe and inclusive green and public spaces, strong national and regional development planning, implement policies for inclusion, resource efficiency and disaster risk reduction, support least developed countries in sustainable and resilient building. So the creation of sustainable cities and communities encompasses many different aspects. Furthermore, it must be considered that each community, region or city is different with different territories, resources, and challenges. That is why the sustainability strategy must be highly customized according to the particular situation it faces. The European Union, through the Green Deal, has emphasized in various ways the importance of implementing policies and initiatives at the local level. One of the main objectives of the EU Green Deal is no person and no place left behind. This is also done through the European Committee of the Regions. The European Committee of the Regions, COR, is an EU advisory body composed of locally and regionally elected representatives coming from all 27 member states. The Committee of the Regions gives regions and cities a formal say in EU lawmaking, giving voice to the needs of local and regional authorities. One of the main initiatives of the European Committee of the Regions is the Green Deal Going Local initiative which aims to put cities and regions at the heart of the EU's transition to climate neutrality. The Green Deal Going Local works with local governments and businesses, stakeholders, organizations, and civil society initiatives to support sustainability goals in line with the EU Green Deal, and its work can be summarized in three specific objectives. To make the voice of cities and regions heard on the numerous policy initiatives under the European Green Deal, to place cities and regions at the heart of EU institutions' policies promoting carbon neutrality, to highlight achievements and best practices of local and regional authorities in implementing local green transition, and facilitate replication across the EU. Best practices in the field of green transition are collected and monitored to control their evolution and results. Here are some examples of local and regional realities that have applied sustainability principles and solutions in their territories. Andalusia, Spain. Andalusia is a large autonomous region on the southern coast of Spain, rich in hills, rivers, and farmland. Due to its geographical location and climate, the region has great potential for generating renewable energy, and the government of Andalusia has signed an electricity supply contract guaranteeing that 100% of the electricity consumed at the regional administration's facilities must come from renewable sources. In 2022, Andalusia was the second largest region in Spain in terms of energy production from renewable sources, beaten only by the region of Castilla y León, with a higher growth in the use of solar photovoltaic technology than other renewable sources. The shift will benefit not just the climate, but the region's economy, Andalusia is also one of the major producers of renewable energy in Europe. Warsaw, Poland. Warsaw, the capital of Poland, initiated in 2018 the Clean Air Program to tackle the problem of air pollution. The priorities are 
replacement of polluting heating sources with more modern and environmentally friendly boilers, implementation of a complex air quality monitoring system, co-financing for renewable energy sources such as photovoltaic installations, solar thermal collectors, or wind turbines, expansion of the urban transport network with electric buses, bike sharing, development of bicycle lanes and bus lanes. Kozani, Greece. The municipality of Kozani in Greece was strongly coal-based but has implemented a program in order to remain the energy center of Greece by relying on renewable energy. The initiatives implemented so far include sustainable buildings with the construction of educational and school buildings using renewable technologies and systems like geothermal, photovoltaic energy, and district heating, e-mobility program using three electric vehicles for municipal services and the installation of an autonomous solar charging station for electric vehicles, upgrading of street lighting by using LEDs, dimming and digital system to save energy, installation and operation of 22 photovoltaic systems on the roofs of schools and municipal buildings. These are just some of the many examples of how regions, cities, and small towns are applying the principles of the Green Deal to work towards the ultimate goal of climate neutrality by 2050. It is hoped that the example of these communities and the positive results achieved will give a boost to the creation of a sustainable European Union and a society whose growth minimizes its impact on the environment.